So I'm here with uh, Dr. Christopher Larson, the author of several uh, books on light infantry tactics. And I was curious, Chris, um, of your books and your series, what would you uh, recommend for maybe a guy that's already in the U.S. Army and is looking for a reference guide? And maybe uh, if you can also give me uh, a guy that's looking to get started for his own personal development in learning uh, skills of uh, American rifleman. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. So, of course, we're out here, just finished up the uh, the summer semester with um, one shepherd. Um, so if you hear shooting in the background, there is a, a pistol course going on. Um, and there's probably people walking behind me, you know, loading their vehicles and, and going to drive home today. So, um, so the books. Uh, let me start at the beginning there. And that is um, in the mid-1990s when it became obvious that uh, one shepherd was uh, school. And we specifically, you know, with some determination, said, "No, we're a leadership uh, institute." Right away, we realized, okay, we need to have not only have a training program, but we needed some consistency. And so, uh, the cadre came to me and said, "Hey, can you write us some, you know, some guides?" And it wound up being a full book. And it's not commercially available. There was only 60 uh, books printed and that was distributed to all of our staff and cadre. And it was just this gray book about the size of this, but it's just this hard plastic, you know, straight gray thing. And it was a, um, I, again, it was, I wouldn't even call it a textbook. It was a instructor manual, okay, on tactics and, um, you know, how we do these things and how we teach these things. Um, and that was, uh, wound up being published and available in 1998. Um, and within a handful of years, no big surprise, it was, oh, well, maybe we should have something for somebody else. But it, it, that truly didn't em emerge yet. What emerged instead was I was um, headed off to Iraq, you know, I was doing a year-long tour there as a military advisor for the Iraqi army, and I had already started writing a little bit about light infantry tactics. And so I, I wanted to be able to describe this for all the people who came to me. And there's surprising numbers of people who come and say, yeah, I was never in the military. Or even those who were, what did the infantry do? You know, wh what do you guys do? And so uh, light infantry tactics for small teams really came out. And that was um, made available in 2005, okay? Um, it, it is literally to answer the those questions people ask in a, in a big way um, but it was for the uninitiated people who admittedly said I, I wasn't combat arms or I wasn't military um, what do you what do you guys do how, when I'm looking at a movie what should I be looking for when I'm reading a book how, what, how should I be interpreting this what do you guys do and so for the uninitiated light infantry tactics for small teams was uh, came out in 2005 on its heels uh, came, uh, I said, okay, well, this, this is good for uninitiated, but you really can't call, it seemed a little too light, a little too thin for this program. You know, there's 42 days. You do seven-day semesters, six of them, as you know, to get warrior, uh, one warrior, one leader, and pick up your light fighter scroll. And so I came up with this book called, I think the original title, you know, like there was the platoon and squad field manual, infantry field manual. I think I was calling it the platoon and squad battle tactics, but, um, and it covers about 80% of what we cover in those 42 days. And it's, and, you know, by the numbers, this is how you do it. These are how you do the patrolling. This is the troop leading procedures, all of these things. By the numbers, it's battle tactics. Um, and this was really my first commercial. Like I self-published light infantry tactics, why you see so many you know, typos and all sorts, just horrible. You know, I was my own editor. Ugh. Um, but it doesn't mean that it's not valuable. It still sells really, really well, um, particularly with, uh, you know, American patriots and militia groups and stuff like that. And I'm very flattered that it does. Um, but this was a more, uh, truly, this was a, uh, a textbook. I came at this as a textbook for this program. And again, it covers 80% of what you learn here. Um, and, and so that it could use, be used not just by the instructors, but more importantly by the students. And so it's a textbook. It has the worst title in the history of titles, I think, because while it was called Platoon and Squad Battle Tactics or something like this, the publisher came by and said, it'll never sell that way because Book and Mortar, you know, Amazon.com, 
the pink ball and airsofters have to know where to look for it, so we're gonna put that on here. And, and I was vetoed, they, they did it. I was like, oh, please don't. The other thing is they took out all the vignettes, the little stories at the back, and you can actually find those hidden somewhere on the interwebs, the dark web of you know the publisher. You can actually still find them, but they ripped them out of this book. And that's what had made my earlier books so successful was people said, man, I love that I, you talk about it and then you show it to me, to me in action. And that was stripped out of here. So I think they really kind of neutered this book, which is terrible. Um, uh, and it is my worst selling. I mean, I think this thing has maybe sold 10,000 copies now. Um, and hands down, my worst selling uh, of all my titles. And these aren't the only three. Um, but the flip side is, it's a great book. It really is the battle tactics. It really is a textbook for how to get this stuff done. And so, same, just about the time, right before we published this, um, I bumped into, and I don't even remember how we did it, but I bumped into Norm Wade, Colonel Wade, who owns the Lightning Press that does all of the smart books for the military. Uh, very well known for, for example, their number one bestseller of their whole 20 book smart book series is the Battle Staff Smart Book. And it's huge at, at the Battle Staff School command schools, you know. Um, and he came to me and he said, look, we, we have people that write strategy and, and operations. We don't have anybody who writes tactics. And I see you're writing tactics, which would be interested in doing this. Well, this is now in its third edition. It is the small unit tactics smart book, um, uh, planning and conducting tactical operations. So there you go. I mean, and again, it just came out this year, 2020. This is the third edition. It originally also came out in 2008. Um, and it's by far and away my best seller. It's now somewhere in the 50 some odd thousand copies sold. So, um, uh, and, and, and so you see a progression here. The uninitiated, those that are learning in school, and those who have been through the school and need to carry something that they can lay flat, make a plan, you know, teach, uh, uh, you know, work with a planning operations. Okay, I've got a squad or a platoon, we're gonna go run this mission bring in my 30, 40 guys, I'm gonna sit here and go, guys, this is what we're doing next, this is what we're doing next. It's for really the operators. It's not really necessary. Is it sold in schools? You bet it's sold in schools. As a matter of fact, 70% of all smart book sales, including um, the small unit tactics smart book, 70% are sold to US military schools. The other 20% are sold to military professionals. Only 10% are sold to civilians. And that's just the buying you know, habit. Again, it is um, well over 50,000 sold now, and it is of the entire 20 book series, it's their number two seller. That's what the publisher tells me, is that, that that's their number two seller, and it sells to the United States Army. Yeah, the- uh, Well, military schools. Your sub book in particular, I've seen that on base, uh, So, but not maybe your other books. But the sub book, for sure, I, I know for a fact that's, that's, you know, if you go down to your BX, Yep. You're going to see that book there on the shelves. Clothing sales, the bookstore, in the PX, the BX, you bet. A AFI sells it all through it. Um, and again, AFI sells about 20% of our sales. M most of it's sold to schools. Um, and then there are some bo books that aren't here. There are some titles. I already mentioned one that was right. never commercially. There are the Op 4 series that isn't here. And so and one of those Op 4 series is the Red Team Armies in its second edition now. Um, the hybrid threat with the insurgent and guerrilla fighting that that's in its first edition and coming out soon so there's other and, and I've got other titles I'm working on but these are the three main ones that you find I should turn those around shouldn't I for the camera there we go oh, the yeah. on the internet and so yeah that, I'm, yeah I, mean, I don't know what else to tell you except buy these books they'll change your life well it's really interesting I mean like for me, I started with the set book, and I think I, I got in a little too deep of water before I came out to One Shepherd. I didn't have a, a concrete experience I needed to really put it into practice. But one right. thing that really impressed me, I think people, different people take different things away from it. My first PL job, I had a, a fellow that came from Austria, and uh, you know, I, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of, out of him because that was his first semester. But still, I had a mission to do, and I tasked him to um, make a fighting position on our line. And I, I went about my business, did some other stuff, whatever, come back on him, wasn't expecting much, fix, um, figuring I'd correct his performance, and we were gonna you know, make some improvements. Uh, and I was just blown away. 
I was like, whoa, how did you make such a textbook fighting position? And he goes, well, I, I read Chris's book. <laughs> <laughs> so so that just blew me away right there <laughs> yeah yeah no there's yeah and there's some really good stories so with the the Sut smart book I think one of I, I there's a lot of stories like this and you know darn you well that uh, it's not that uncommon maybe once a year we have a, a newcomer coming to one shepherd and they're like hey and they're carrying with them one of these books you know it doesn't matter which one they're like I think what's going to be a great textbook for this course now that I've gone through you know one semester of it is this book and we all go oh glad you like that uh, you know we wrote it <laughs> so and they go oh, yeah though the coolest one and also the most embarrassing it was simultaneously the most flattering and the most embarrassing was I was working at uh, the command and general staff college and uh, there was a young E5 sergeant, uh, infantry background, who'd come and he'd been, you know, um, PCS there. He'd just gotten back from, a, uh, I think, his second tour of Iraq. And he brings in the book, and it's, it's got 550. It is totally ratted to shit. You know, the corners are gone. It's still got Iraqi sand on the damn thing, you know? And he walks in, and he's got like this, and he's walking in, and I'm, I'm sitting in the office because you know, I'm an instructional designer with the government and stuff. And, and so I'm sitting in the office, and he comes up, and he's like, hey, man, I really, and he says, I really think, and several people were talking at once, and I just instinctively grabbed his book, flipped it open, grabbed a pen, and started writing. And he goes, whoa, dude, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I thought, I thought you wanted me to sign the book. And he goes, and now everybody stopped talking. You know, everybody's looking at me. My face is going beet red. And he goes, why the hell would I want you to sign my book? He's like, you dumbass, I'm here to recommend it to you. And I was like, oh, and like I said, I'm, I'm just beet red at this point. And I go, yeah, all right, close it like that. And I looked at him and I said, dude, I, I know it's your book, but it's also kind of my book. And I handed it back to him. And he goes, oh, you wrote this book. <laughs> I was like, uh-huh, I thought you knew that. And he's like, no, I was coming to recommend it to you. I went, oh, wow. And he goes, well, well, now I want you to sign it. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a really cool story, but a little embarrassing, but also really kind of cool. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you do. And you called it right, Mike. You really have. The uninitiated, I'm going through school. I've been through school, and I want to use this with my unit. That's the three levels of books you see here. And that's why that's a really good selection. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, thank you.